Hello, today's devotional can be found in 3 Nephi, chapter 13, verse 28. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. Okay, so here's the thing. Getting excessive possessions will not help you grow. Getting excessive possessions will, focus, will make your mind focus on the possessions and not the more important things in life. And getting riches like oodles and oodles and oodles of money will not help you grow. I mean, if you invest the money in doing things that will help others and teach you more what strengths you have. That is allowing yourself to grow, but just getting excessive money and spending it on useless things, that is not growth. Consider the lily of the field, how they grow. They are, they are offered nourishment and their roots take it. And they grow. They don't toil. They don't waste their time doing things that will not help them grow. They don't waste their time. And I mean, growth is relaxing to them. And they don't worry about it. They have faith that if nourishing, uh, nourishing opportunities come, they will grow. They have faith in their Creator. They have faith in the plan that is for them. They have faith in their ability to grow because that's in their nature, their, desire, their natural desire to grow. And do we have any of these things? Yes, we have all of these things. Especially the natural desire to grow and do better, but we're mortal. We're imperfect. We find ourselves bogged down every day with our mistakes because we make mistakes every day. But guess what? Our mistakes don't have to bog us down. Our imperfections do not have to bog us down. Our imperfections really don't have to bog us down. The atonement of Jesus Christ was enacted for just that purpose, to take away that which bogs us down from growing into who we are meant to become. And guess what we can become if we so choose to take the time and opportunities of growth that we can have because of the atonement? Guess what we can become? We can become celestial beings. Celestial beings in the celestial kingdom, with our families forever, with peace, and pain, and pain does not exist there. Pain is really, pain is a mortal thing. Pain dies with death, unless you have chosen such a way that you carry the pain with you, that you have not resolved it. Now is, I mean, resolving pain with God helps you to grow. Resolving pain with the atonement of Christ helps you to grow. Lay your pain to rest. Lay your pain to rest because Jesus Christ already felt it. Why do you need to feel it again? It's like saying the atonement doesn't exist. And guess what? Without the atonement, how are we supposed to grow into celestial beings with time and opportunity? If the atonement didn't exist, there would be no time, there would be no opportunity to grow, and we wouldn't grow. But, like the li lilies of the field, we need to trust in our Creator, we need to trust in our Savior, whose loving sacrifice offers us the opportunity to learn, to grow, develop, 
and do many good things, leaving our mistakes behind every day. If we bask in His love and the love of God, we can have strength to get through every day of our lives. Even if that's all we can do is one day at a time. Why do we need to put ourselves through confusion and and thoughts that will make us anxious and crazy? We don't. We need to trust in the Lord. For He will help us grow even if all we can do is one day at a time. We will be given all that we need to grow at the appropriate time. I mean, even if we're just given simple commandments that will prepare us for greatest th greater things later, we need to listen every time. Something unusual co comes into our lives, something unusual, like certain words we need to always be aware of. I mean, things that are good we need to be aware of. Because the Lord may be trying to tell us something. But don't waste the opportunity to grow that the Atonement has given because You can't get the time you waste back. Thanks to the atonement, we can have our eternal freedom back, and we can be able to go back to our Heavenly Father in Christ, but we can't get wasted time back. So consider the opportunities of growth that the atonement has given us, and don't waste the time that is ours to embrace them. But you so have the right to choose. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.